Hey guys, it's Ross Scott and on the Space Couch today we're going to have our first look at this, The Cimmerillion by Tolkien. I picked this up at the final car boot sale last week for £1 I think it was, might have been 50 pence, I'm not sure. Now, I read this when I was a teenager, I haven't read it since and I've never owned it and I've always meant to pick it up so I was pleased to finally uh, get a hold of a copy. Um, I remember what was it, Baron and Luthien, The Cimmerills. The Girdle of Melian, that hidden city. Uh, there was the wolf and, of course, um, Melkor and um, Sauron, I believe, or whatever their names were previously. So, yes, very happy to have picked this up. So let's see what it says. The Cimmerillion is an account of the elder days or the first age of Tolkien's world. It is the ancient drama to which the characters in The Lord of the Rings look back and in whose events some of them, such as Elrond and Galadriel, took part, just like the Rings of Power. <laughs> the tales of the Cimmerillion are set in an age where Morgoth, that was it, Morgoth, and the, the first Dark Lord dwelt in Middle-earth, and the High Elves made war upon him for the recovery of the Cimmerils. The three Cimmerils were jewels created by uh, Feanor, most gifted of the Elves. Within them were imprisoned, imprisoned, that's a bit of an odd word to use considering it's elves, the light of the two trees of Valinor before the trees themselves were destroyed by Morgoth. Thereafter, she instilled light of, thereafter, the instilled light, the unsullied, sorry, light of Valinor lived on only in the Cimmerils, but they were seized by Morgoth and set in his crown, guarded in the fortress of Angband in the north of Middle-earth. The Cimmerillion is a history of the rebellion of Feanor and his kindred against the gods, their exile from Valinor and return to Middle-earth, and their war, hopeless despite their heroism, against the great enemy. Included in the book are several shorter works. Um, the Ainulundale, apology for the pronunciation of the Elvish, is a myth of the creation, and in the Valaquenta, the nature and powers of each of the gods are described. Akala Beth recounts the downfall of the great island kingdom Numenor at the end of the Second Age and Of the Rings of Power tells of the great events at the end of the Third Age which are narrated in the Lord of the Rings. So yes, it's a lovely cover as well. Uh, with the, it's like a Viking longship, isn't it? Whatever the equivalent would have been. And I'm not quite sure what is going on here. Let's bring that a little bit closer. But yes, a worthy addition to anyone's collection. Haven't seen my copy of Lord of the Rings for ages. It's the one with Gandalf striding through the rain on the cover. So I will have to dig that out again because that I have read several times. But I'm very much looking forward to reading this again. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please subscribe to my channel if you enjoyed this content. Leave me a comment suggestion for what topic you'd like to see discussed or like the video.